remainder theorem and factor theorem. Yan ang matutunan nyo sa video ito. And let me explain this the simplest way. Basically, when we say remainder, yan yung extra na hindi na ma-divide ni divisor simply because lesser siya sa divisor. In other words, ang remainder ay always, as in always, lesser, lesser than the divisor. Example, 11 divided by 5, ilan bang 5 ang 11? Dalawa. Now, what we will do is, 5 times 2, that is equals to 10. 11 minus 10 is equals to 1. So, ang remainder dito ay 1. 1 is lesser than 5. Another example, 20 divided by 6. Ilang 6 ba si 20? 3. Now, what we will do para makuha natin yung remainder, 6 times 3, that is equals to 18. 20 minus 18, that is equals to 2. So, ang remainder dito ay 2. Another way, 11 divided by 5. So, this is 2. 2 times 5 equals 10. 11 minus 10 is equals to 1. Yan yung remainder. Dito naman, 20 divided by 6. And that is ilang 6 ba si 20? 3. 3 times 6 equals 18. 20 minus 18 is equals to 2. Ang 2, yan yung remainder. Pero dito tayo mag-focus. So, using these type bali na ginawa ko. So, naging 11 minus 10 equals 1. So, pariho lang din yan or therefore we can also write this as 11 equals 5 times 2 plus 1. Ito yung dividend. Dividend. Ito naman yung divisor. Tapos, si 2, yan yung quotient. Yan yung quotient natin. At ito yung remainder. Same way, dito sa 20 is equals to 6 times 3 plus 2. So, itong 20, yan yung dividend. Si 6 ang divisor. 3 ang quotient natin dyan, at itong 2, yan yung remainder. Ngayon, kung sa polynomial naman, erase muna natin ito. Kung sa polynomials, we have f of x divided by yung divisor natin equals quotient with a remainder, remainder of x. Ang gagawin natin ay ipariho natin dito. So, ito yung dividend natin. Dividend is equals to divisor times quotient plus yung remainder natin. Baka by this time, hindi nyo na ako naintindihan. Ang ginawa ko dito ay parihong pariho lang din dyan. Since, itong dividend natin ay equals lang dito sa divisor times quotient plus remainder, mas maganda sigurong ma-explain ito kapag nandito na tayo sa ating mga examples talaga. Later na itong factor theorem. Let's do number one. What is the remainder of 3x squared minus 5x plus 6 divided by x minus 2. Now, this is our dividend. Our dividend is 3x squared minus 5x plus 6. 
itong divisor natin, i-equate natin to 0. And that is x minus 2 is equals to 0. Equate lang natin yan siya. So, this is obviously positive 2. So, itong positive 2, yan yung equivalent tx para maging 0. So, lahat ito lagyan natin ng 2. Ang x ay equivalent sa 2. Lagyan natin ng 2 ang lahat. Isolve na natin. Exponent muna. 2 times 2 equals 4. I-multiply mo sa 3 and that is equals to 12. 5 times 2 is equals to 10 or minus 10. Then kopyahin si 6. Ang natitira na lang ay 12 minus 10 plus 6. Always remember, kapag subtraction and division, they rank equally. Kaya we will solve them from left to right. 12 minus 10 is equals to 2 plus 6 is equals to 8. So therefore, ang remainder dito ay 8. So, ang sagot dito ay itong 8. Another way. Let's use the synthetic division. Mas maganda yung synthetic division. Again, yung divisor natin must be equals to 0. So, x is equals to positive 2. Yan ang gamitin natin. I-write down natin yung mga numbers dito, yung mga coefficient. Yung leading coefficient dito ay 3, next negative 5, next 6. Bring down lang natin itong leading coefficient natin na 3. 3 times 2, i-multiply natin sa 2, equals 6. Dito natin isulat. Now, negative 5 plus 6, that is 1. Then, 1, i-multiply ulit natin sa 2, times 2, equals 2. 6 plus 2 is equals to 8. Itong 8 na to, itong last na number na yan, yan na yung remainder. So, ang sagot sa number 1 ay 8. Number 2. What is the remainder when 5x squared plus 3x minus 7 is divided by x plus 9? Yung divisor must be equals to 0. So, para maging equals to 0, ang value ni x must be negative 9. So, therefore, yung dividend natin, so, gamitin natin yung negative 9 sa lahat ng x dito sa dividend natin. So, this is negative 9 minus 7. Negative 9 times negative 9, or negative 9 squared, that is 81, i-multiply natin sa 5, and that is equals to 405. Next, 3 times negative 9, and that is negative 27, at kopyahin lang itong negative 7. Now, 405 minus 27 minus 7, and that is equals to 371. Yan na yung remainder. Another way ay gamitin natin itong negative 9. We will do the synthetic division method. So, gamitin natin ito. Yung mga numbers sa dividend natin. That is 5, 3, negative 7. Bring down the leading coefficient na 5. 5 times negative 9, that is negative 45. 3 plus negative 45, and that is negative 42. Negative 42 times negative 9, that is positive 378. Negative 7 plus 378, that is 371. 
ito na yung remainder using synthetic division. Number 3. What is the remainder when 2x squared minus 3x plus 5 is divided by 2x minus 1? Again, itong divisor, equate natin to 0. So, 2x minus 1 is equals to 0. 2x equals 1. Kasi itong negative 1 or minus 1, tinatransfer natin sa kabila, magiging plus 1 or 1 na lang. And then, i-isolate natin si x dito. Since si 2 pang multiply sa x, pang divide na siya sa 1. So, x is equals to 1 half or 0.5. So, next, gamitin ulit natin ito. Yung x pali natin ay equals to 0.5. Tapos, lahat ng itong nasa dividend natin ay yung x, lahat ng x dyan ay equals to 0.5 minus 3 times 0.5 plus 5. 0.5, exponent muna tayo. 0.5 times 0.5, that is 0 0.25. 0 0.25 times 2 is equals to 0.5. Negative 3 times 0. 0.5 or pariho lang yan sa negative 3 divided by 2 and that is equals to negative 1.5 or minus 1.5 plus 5. Sa order of operations, subtraction and addition, pariho lang yan. They rank equally, kaya we will solve them from left to right. 0. 0.5 minus 1.5 and that is equals to negative 1, negative 1 plus 5 is equals to 4. Ito na yung remainder. Another way, we will use the synthetic method or synthetic division. Ito ulit ang gamitin natin, yung value ni x, kasi ito dito pa rin tayo mag-focus sa divisor na i-equate natin to 0. So, nakuha natin na ang value ni x dito ay 0.5. 0.5. Five. Yan yung pang-multiply natin dito sa mga numbers na 2, negative 3, 5. I-bring down lang natin itong leading coefficient natin na 2. 2 times 0. 0.5 and that is 1. Negative 3 plus 1 is equals to negative 2. Negative 2 times 0. 0.5 is equals to negative 1. 5 plus negative 1 is equals to 4. So, yan na yung remainder dito. So, ang sagot ay 4. Number 4. What is the remainder when 3x squared plus 6x minus 4 is divided by 5x plus 2? Again, kunin natin ito or equate muna natin ito to 0. So, this is 5x equals negative 2 kasi tinatransfer na natin si 2 dyan plus 2 so maging minus 2 or negative 2. Then, x, i-isolate natin since si 5 pang multiply sa x, pang divide na siya ngayon sa negative 2. So, x is equals to negative 2 divided by 5 and that is negative 0.4. So, itong negative 0.4, yan yung gamitin natin dito sa itong dividend natin. 0.4, yung dividend ay 3x, ang x ay negative 0.4. Negative yan siya. Wait lang ha. Ito ay negative. So, squared yan siya. Plus 6 times negative 0.4 minus 4. Negative 0.4 times negative 0.4, that is equals to 0.16. I multiply sa 3, and that is 0.48. Next, 6 times negative 0.4, and that is negative 2.4. Kopyahin yung minus 4 dyan. Next, 0. 0.48 minus 2.4 minus 4 
and that is equals to negative 5.92 at ito na yung remainder negative 5.92 now let's do the synthetic method of finding the remainder again gamitin natin ito Bali dito tayo sa divisor, equate natin to 0, tapos hanapin natin yung value ni x. That is, point, negative 0.4. So, itong si negative 0.4, yan yung pang-multiply natin dito sa mga coefficients dito. 3, 6, negative 4. Ang leading coefficient natin ay kopyahin lang. 3 times negative 0.4 and that is negative 1.2. 6 plus negative 1.2 that is equals to 4.8. Now 4.8 times negative 0.4 is equals to negative 1.92. Negative 4 plus Itong plus negative 1.92, that is equals to negative 5.92. Ito na yung remainder. I hope by this time, alam nyo na kung paano hanapin yung remainder ng mga polynomials. Next, abangan ito sa susunod na video, itong which of the following is a factor of 2x cubed minus x squared minus 21x plus 18. At itong number 6 natin, 6x cubed plus 5x squared minus 2x minus 1. Kung alin dito ang mga factors nila abangan sa next na video. Thank you.